What's up, huh? You in here? Trying to love me? Trying to give me a lifetime of devotion? Huh? 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 Well, I guess I'll second that emotion. Let's do it. What's happening, lovebirds and dingbats? What's going on? How are you doing? I hope you're doing all right. It's another episode of Play Dead. You know it it is. And you know who I am. I'm Davey. And that's you I mean, you already know. Like there's no point in going through all of this again, but if you're if it's your first time here, strange one to come in on. I know, but cool. Glad glad you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Just go ahead and do that. Helps me out. Maybe go check out our Patreon and our merch once you've gotten through it. Maybe there's stuff you like. Maybe you'll find new community here. Uh maybe. I hope. What's up? All right. What? Yeah. Today we're learning second that emotion. It is a Smokey Robinson tune. Uh, I've always loved this song since I was a little kid. Uh, I grew up with an older dad, and I I just grew up on Motown and R and B and uh lots of soul stuff like that. Do what? That's what I grew up on. So I love it all day long. Give it to me. It's so good. Such good easy listening. Like I said, written by Smokey Robinson and Al Cleveland. In 1967, you better not forget Al Cleveland. Treasure. Uh, the Dead started playing it in 71, and uh, it's really cool to listen to those first renditions of Second That Emotion that the Dead did and the first renditions of They Love Each Other. Very similar, the way you play them, not the, not the chords or the key that they're in, but it's very similar the way that you play them. Uh, Jerry Band started playing it in 73, played it a ton. Uh, you know, so this is a nice little crossover one, not only because of Valentine's day, do we got a love song, but we also have a song that's dead played and Jerry band played. So we're just covering all the bases. All right, cool. So this is what it looks like. You've got your intro, your verse and your chorus. It's so straightforward and easy. So we're going to quit. We're going to stop chewing the fat and we're going to start cooking it up and we're going to teach you how to play the song. Yeah. All right, family, here we go. We are all up in this heart-shaped fucking hot tub inside of a cheap motel room. Why is there carpet in this bathroom? I don't get it. I don't like it. But your intro looks like this. It's very simple. It's a few chords and then a little riff that you're going to be playing throughout the whole thing. Right? So it's just the easiest thing in the world. And you're not going to have a problem with it because I believe in you. I love you. And hey, here's this chalky fucking thing that says, uh, will you be mine on it? But the U is a letter U. Listen to me do it and we'll do it. The easiest thing on the planet. So what you're doing is you're doing an E to a D to an A. Very simple. So, but the way you're going to do it is ba 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 boom stack. Right? Because you got to feel it in your cojones. you got to feel it down in your balls is what I'm saying. Right? Boom stack. Right? You can get with that. I know you've got the groove in you. Stella, I know you got your groove back. I'm going to start like just saying romantic comedies, right? We're going to start doing that. Love Actually. That one's kind of creepy, though. Don't look into it. It's weird. All right, so. E, 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 D, 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 A. And then you've got this nice little line. Right? So what you're doing is you're sliding on the A string from the 5th to the 7th fret. Or no, 7th to ninth fret. A B. So what you're going to do is you're going to slide on the A string to the, from the 7th to the ninth fret. You're going to hit the 7th fret on the D string. You're going to go back and hit the ninth fret on the A string. You're going to hit that 7th fret on the D string again. And then you're going to hit the 9th fret on the A string again. So. Okay. Hey. 
then when you're when you after you do that four times or however many times you want to do it, I'm not the boss of you. Okay, I can just give gentle suggestions. Right, you're just gonna chill on A until you get to this point where you can hit a stop because you want to hit a full stop before you drop into that verse because of you know impact and dynamics. Right, so this is the last one. Right, boom, and that's your intro, babies. All right, so let's towel yourself off out of this heart-shaped, uh, you know, hot tub in this. Uh, carpeted bathroom in this seedy motel, and then go get on that revolving uh, heart-shaped bed, and we're gonna we're gonna go into the verse, right? Maybe you'd like to give me kisses, sweet. Only for when I know. Okay, so your verse, it look like this. It's very easy. It's just A and then a D and an E. Just listen. All right, now get yourself comfortable on these weird silk sheets that, like, you get sweaty on and then you just kind of stick to. It's not fun. But here we go. Maybe you'd like to give me kisses sweet Only for one night no repeat Maybe you'll go away and never call But a taste of honey is worse than none at all Oh, little darling all right, so it's, it's very simple, right? And, and I know that I say this all the time, but I have to reaffirm to you that this is easy and you can do it because that's what makes me a teacher. I don't know. I just have to give you positive reinforcement because that's what I need. You know what I'm saying? So you start on that A, so. Maybe you like to give me kisses sweet. And then you got you to gotta hit that line. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you like to give me kisses sweet. Only for one night with no repeat. And so what I'm doing there, I do that all the time. I'm sure you've you've watched me do it or heard me do it. I do a lot of that that half step up like halfway through if I'm chilling on a chord. So be like, maybe you like to give me kisses sweet. It's kind of like at the 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 repeat of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so then you've got the boom. Only for one night, no repeat. You're doing this three times. Maybe you'll go away and never call. In D, a taste of honey to E is worse than none. Ed. And then you go back to A. Oh, right? And then, oh, little darling. Right? You can also do that there too. You can do the line there, or you can just hit that A, but oh little darling. Right? So then because I don't like to say oh little girl. I just don't do stuff like that. Oh little darling, you can call it you can call your lady a little darling. That's fine. But talking about little girls is kind of weird. Right. Right? We can say that now. These songs that were written in the sixties and seventies just kind of pointed at children from an older male's perspective is weird, right? Yeah, like especially like little bitty pretty one. Go back and listen to those lyrics. It's fucked up. Great song. Great song. Loved it in Matilda. But those lyrics though. Right? Okay. So <laughs> All right. So again, like your verse takes place on that A. You do that three times through with the riff and then you hit the um that case of taste of honey is worse than none at all oh little darling right and that's going to lead us into our chorus okay so it's it all hangs on that that lead line right okay so let's get into our course we're blowing through this one today it's again it's it's very easy and we're just going to get into it so here here comes the chorus baby okay so get yourself off of the rotating <laughs> the rotating heart-shaped bed and move yourself over to the heart-shaped conference table, right? Because they have those in those CD hotel rooms with the carpeted bathrooms. Heart-shaped conference table. We got a heart-shaped phone in the middle and we've got John Mayer on the line. Now, what you say to him is up to you. He's here for you, okay? So say what you need to say to him. Get it? Doesn't he have a song? I don't know. Here we go. That piece of all right so your chorus starts that way and what you said to john mayer was dirty it was dirty 
It was dirty. He, you turned him off. Now he's going to go back onto his fuck yacht and hide. Okay? Keep doing experiments to try to save people all over the world on his fuck yacht. Uh, so <laughs> your course looks like this. Uh, it's, again... You've got this. You know all of these chords. It's just about putting them together, right? So listen, and then we will. But again, man, you got to keep a lid on some stuff. Some stuff you don't say to your crush, you know? Like, that was real dirty. The ball goblin stuff? Come on, man. Why? Why Why speak to... And you know what? Just go. In case I don't want a part To believe that would only break my heart I guess so for this one, starting on a D. Um, that case I don't want no part. Do the riff. I do believe that. And I love that it goes along with that. I do believe that part. Uh, chef kiss. Way to go, Smokey and Al. I love it. Right? So that case I don't want no part. To believe that that would only break my heart. heart. <laughs> Sorry. Feeling a little loose today. Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm feeling a little loose today? I'm sure you can. So it's a D to an A with the riff. That's the first part. You're going to do that twice. Riff once, D and A twice. So that case I don't want no part To believe that would only break my heart And then you're going to double down on that A. Well, or well. But you're going to hit the A for it. Well, and then you're going to stay on A. If you feel like loving me to E, if you've got to D, the notion, I second that emotion, then A, A, if you feel like giving me a lifetime of devotion, I second that emotion, A, and then the intro. Oh! I always thought that was such like a weird sexual awe that it always just made me laugh when I was a kid. So I do it every time I sing the song now, even if people don't know the Smokey Robinson version. And here, dude, it's just so funny to me. Uh, but way to go. Second that emotion. Go play that for your boo or whoever. I'm sorry this didn't come out like near Valentine's Day. It's a little bit after, but the sentiment is the same, right? It's all about how you feel about one another. It's not about the gift it's not about the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. But, hey, you can throw a couple quarters into that rotating heart-shaped bed with the silk sheets that you get stuck to, and it'll vibrate. That'll help. You know what I'm saying? It'll help. It won't do worse, right? Okay. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to set up a loop real quick. We're going we're gonna to solo over, like, the whole thing. It's basically just an all-the-way-through thing. So I'm going to set this up, and then we're going to solo over it. In A, just trying to do, trying to be melodic. You try to be melodic. Try to find where those vocal lines are, and if you can't quite find it, make it up. Just, just think about the vocal line while you're playing. Okay. So I'm gonna set this loop up, and we'll do it. All right, guys, got the loop set up, and uh, again, it's over the whole thing. So we're gonna start with the, you know, the start of the verse, and then we're gonna go all the way through. Uh, play in A, A major, A mixolydian, whatever you'd like to do. Be melodic. Try to find the vocal line, okay? Here we go.
okay. That was fine. Again, just try to be melodic. Try to find it out. You've got to start stretching those muscles and figuring out your brain, right? But have fun. The, this room's on me. This, the, this hotel room is on me for the evening, so you have fun, okay? John Mayer's still on the line. He was kind of into what you said, so don't worry about it, all right? Please uh, subscribe if you haven't. Please hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we drop stuff. We literally have so much content on this channel that it's crazy. Please share it around. Tell people about it. Uh, go join our Patreon, right? Uh, realbird.company.site for merch. Please go hit those things up. Uh, we need to make a living off of this. This is our job. And uh, help, you know, tell people about it. You know, you can Venmo PayPal if you really appreciate the lessons and just want to help out. You can do that too. There's so many ways to help us out. Tell people about it. Just spread it around uh, and literally give us money. Uh, whatever you want to do. We're trying here. We're definitely making it worth your while. So thank you for everything. We love you. Please just don't be a dick. Be good to each other, okay? And uh, we'll see you in the next Play Dead. All right? Mwah.